Hi Earth Science, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you that are cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what the next 72 hours predict for you. So uh, we'll see what's coming up for you in your Tarot cards here. It is going to be a general message so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized Tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Okay guys, let's give the cards a shuffle. And let's see what's coming in for you. Okay, bottom of the deck, you have the Hierophant. The message that I get for you guys is you need to make a commitment to your commitments. Okay, whatever that means. Um, no, that means that you, if if you're in, if you've been in your head about a certain situation, um, it, it's what it is is indecision is the thief of opportunity. I'm sure some of you have heard that, right? And you're thinking about something, about taking some form of action or making some decision, but you're not able to commit to that decision, okay? And you have to remember that, and look, below that you've got the hangman here, and you've got the, you know, high priestess, the four of cups. I feel like, you know, emotionally scattered energy here, there's a lot of uncertainty here. You can't see necessarily, you can't, predict the outcome of what will come of this decision or this choice that you make. There's a lot of stagnation in your energy. You've been giving something a lot of thought or you need to give something a little bit more thought, but ultimately you need to commit to some sort of decision because you're going to continue to live in this no man's land and this, you know, limbo where you don't know if you should be doing this or you should be doing that. You don't know if you're if you should communicate with this person or keep it to yourself, if you need to, uh, you know, cut contacts, uh, sorry, cut ties with this person or if you need to give them a second chance, you need to, because you're straddling the fence about something, you need to make a decision and then commit to that commitment because ultimately not only will you, you know, when you commit to your choice of decision, you're also committing to the consequences of it here and I feel like for some of you, it does have something to do with moving on from an energy. I feel like there's someone here whom you're finding it really hard to move away. Now, there's a lot of troubled waters around this energy and around this situation. And look, maybe it hasn't been the healthiest of relationships. But yet, you know, you've shared history. You guys have a past and you may still have feelings for this person. But if someone isn't contributing to your happiness, then they're taking away from it. And from what I can see, it's probably best to cut ties with such an in, um, such an individual. And if you know, if the two of you part, maybe might give them a chance to do some work, and for you to do some work, and maybe later in life, later down the track, you know, when the waters are much more still, calm, and serene, you might become you might be able to come together in a healthy way. For the time being, if someone is threatening your peace of mind and you know your happiness, it just may not be worth it, guys. So if you're going to make a decision to cut ties with this person. Um, and if some of you have already made that decision, but yet you still keep the line, the lines of communication open, see how that's not helping you. See how it's not helping your decision and it's not helping you to move forward. So keep a commitment to your commitments, guys. OK, um, also, if you are trying to move away from someone or if you have cut ties with someone or if you're separated or broken, um, you know, if you've broken something, he has broken down for you, then I feel like it's strengthening you. OK, and even if you even if you feel like you don't agree with that, if you feel like it's weakening you and if you feel like you're very vulnerable here, it's not. It's strengthening you. It's making you that much more tougher, that much more resilient. It's also preparing you for what's to come. This is all, whatever it is that you're going through, you know, if you feel really fatigued as a result of this situation, it's adding to your growth and your transformation and your personal development here. So understand that this is all essentially happening for your higher good. I'm also seeing air travel for some of you, okay, so if you've had any plans to travel abroad, you know, especially internationally, I feel like that's going ahead successfully, I don't see any delays or I don't see um, any, um, you know, stagnated energy there, 
um, or even if you've been wanting to travel like interstate here I feel like travel plans are still going ahead so you're still on for that um, I'm also seeing that you are on the edge of a precipice with your journey and not just over the next 72 hours but where you're at in life as well you have the world you know you have a world of limitless possibilities and opportunities you just need to decide you know where it is that you want to go there's also no wrong, wrong turns in life so you know there are you know sometimes the wrong people can be the right people because they put you on to you know the love of your life or they put you on to the right set of circumstances or the right business connections so I just feel like if some of you have doubted some of your previous relationships or um, experiences understand that it's all contributed to your growth here and your development here so you know th there's something here I feel like something that you've been wanting to do I see you finally going ahead and committing to that so for instance whether you've wanted to travel okay and you might have been really scared I feel like some of you are going to you know jump into this even if you still feel a little bit scared and still feel a little bit uncertain some of you may, may be wanting to have studied and maybe over the next 72 hours you're going to go you know jump on the internet and you're going to do some research gather all this information that you need but I feel like you're taking action towards something that and to be honest with you whatever this is is going to open up so many doors of opportunity for you for the future okay so whether it's studying or travel or just you know making a commitment to yourself here it's just going to embrace it's going to facilitate a lot of growth here there could also be some sort of conflict altercation or a disagreement so heads up it could happen between you and a connecting energy a romantic energy or a colleague here someone might misunderstand what it is that you say someone might become very possessive defensive or territorial here um, I don't think it's you I just think you're going to have to either defend yourself or you're going to have to stand your ground okay don't let this person walk all over you you may have your opinions and they may have theirs and that's okay but it feels like it's more a clash of the egos it could also be reflective in an inner turmoil okay you might just find yourself really confused and really uncertain and you might find that you just don't know what it is that you have to do or what steps to take just give it some more time okay it's okay to be confused it's okay to not know it's okay to not have all the answers it's okay it is okay and if you feel that way maybe go do something else that makes yourself feel better or puts you in a better emotional state because at the end of the day we're all you know we're all mass energy and the universe responds to our energy our frequency so if you're feeling a little bit off it's okay just remind yourself you're only a human being at the end of the day also this is specifically for those of you that feel like you're in a romantic you feel like you have competition okay you feel like you have to stand out for some reason you might be trying to attract someone who is already taken in a relationship or you might feel like you you're up against some sort of stiff competition the message that I have for you you don't need to prove your value to, to anyone the right person will see that and they won't need to be told okay so just keep that in mind some things are coming um, together here very nicely for you especially with the nine of cups now you could receive some very positive news over the next 72 hours you could just be in a very positive and a very vibrant emotional state over the next 72 hours but I feel like something here is coming together fitting together very nicely for you here um, this could also be a, 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 like a wish come true because it is the law of attraction tarot card of the deck right so let's not ignore that you it could be like a manifestation comes to fruition a wish comes true like for instance maybe you've been trying to manifest someone into your life and you've been wanting to hear from someone um, and for, for some of you, you know, there could be communication from a romantic interest or if you've been waiting to receive an answer of some sort, I feel like you're manifesting here. So something that you've been wanting, desiring. And when I say, I mean, people want a lot of things, but behind this is a very desirous energy. So it's not like, oh, you want to do this. No, no, no. This is something you really wanted. This is something like you've been hoping and wishing for. This is that kind of desirous energy. So something that you've, you know, really been wanting here. And it's also something you've been waiting for. I feel like it's coming to fruition. Don't get all in your head about something. You're getting too caught up in your head about something and I feel like you're not seeing the bigger picture. I feel like you're not seeing what's in front of you because you're too caught up in something. 
Um, our imagination is, you know, it, it has no boundaries, and sometimes our sometimes our mind can start constructing stories in our head that aren't necessarily real to begin with. So this is why overthinking and overanalyzing, it isn't good for you. It's just not good for you. So if you want to know how someone is feeling or thinking about you or whatever it is that you want to know, you know, maybe just see if you can see clarity on that situation instead of try you trying to, you know, assume something or you trying to get too much in your head about it because it's not worth it. You know, this overthinking, overanalyzing or getting too much in your head, well, what's it doing for you? You know, you're, you're missing out potentially, I feel like, and it's this indecision, it's this in, it's this indecisive energy that I feel like we, because you can't decide you're also therefore potentially missing out on opportunities that you otherwise would have had had you made that decision. So get out of your head. All right, and these are your messages, guys. Thanks for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.